Bill Nye, what is global warming? Is it real? I think it's real. I'm sure it's real. It's where uh, we have put so much, uh, so many greenhouse gases, so many molecules of greenhouse Three gases. being man. Humans, extra ones, that the speed that the world is getting warmer is getting really fast. And that what's ha happening is these molecules hold heat in, in the same way glass holds heat in the greenhouse. That's where we got the name. Are we talking about one degree over a thousand years? Oh, uh, those were the good old days. Yes, now it's, uh, everybody's concerned about a little more than two degrees Fahrenheit, about 1.2 degrees Celsius in the next 50 years. So, uh, and that's bad, why? Oh, that's bad. Well, a couple reasons. Uh, the world, the weather around the world is going to change. Then uh, you used a clip from Inconvenient Truth mm -hmm. where ice caps are melting and that fresh water flows into the sea. That upsets the uh, flow of so-called thermohaline or salt heat uh, driven ocean currents. Meaning? And, meaning that's what, uh, what makes the Gulf Stream go, for example. If the Gulf so Stream stops... throw off the whole ecosystem? Oh yeah, it would be crazy. And then the other thing is, the ocean will actually get bigger. When it gets warmer, warm things expand. And, uh, Lindsay, uh, Richard well. Lindsay, I read your pieces in the Wall Street Journal. They were very authoritative and very well written. What's your read on this? Well, I think <clears throat> my read on it is that there is a certain climate of fear, to quote uh, Mike Crichton. Uh, you know, for instance, Nye was talking about fresh water perhaps shutting down the Gulf Stream. But that isn't what physical oceanographers think. First of all, you know, we've measured the heat transport from the tropics to high latitudes. It's almost all in the atmosphere. The Gulf Stream is mostly driven by wind. To shut it down, you'd have to stop the rotation of the Earth or shut off the wind. And there's a lot of confusion in this. And, uh, you know, at the heart of it, we're talking of a few tenths of a degree change in temperature. None of it in the last eight years, by the way. Uh, and uh, if we had warming, it should be accompanied by less storminess. But because the temperature itself is so unspectacular, we've developed all huh. sorts of fear prospect scenarios of uh, flooding, of uh, plague, of increased storminess when the physics says we should see less. Uh, I think it's mainly just uh, like little kids locking themselves in dark closets to see how much they can scare each other. Bill Nye, where is uh, Richard Lindzen wrong? Uh, well, he... I'm not sure because uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, an expert on his ideas, but the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPC report, which comes out Friday, is pretty compelling. And as you know, I'm a member of the advisory board of the Union of Concerned Scientists, and I find my colleagues uh, pretty compelling, much more so than his, his, his view is, is a minority on a scale that's, uh, that's impressive. It's probably 100,000 to one or so, scientists versus him. Uh, uh, Richard, but I don't want to get to be a personal attack. And, I don't, okay, Richard, are you, are you one of the alone ones in this? You know, on what I was just saying, I was saying textbook material. And if the textbooks are outvoiced by environmental advocacy groups like uh, Union of Concerned Scientists by 100,000 to one, that would be bizarre. We should close down our schools. Uh, this makes no sense, what Mr. Nye is saying. I'm simply saying his comments about the Gulf Stream are wrong. And uh, his comments about heat transport are wrong. And that is not 100,000 to one. Uh, that yeah, just is, to clarify, I said that Larry asked me about fresh water falling on the ocean. Yeah. That's and fresh that. water. That would, be the, that would be the ultimate consequence. Yeah. And all I'm saying is. The thermohaline circulation is not the major driver of the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream is so not. So you're saying that we shouldn't be concerned about global climate change because nobody uh, is wind saying wind drives the Gulf Gulf Stream. Nobody is saying it's anything. Not enough for me. Well, nobody is saying anything of the sort. We are simply saying that if you wish to issue scare remarks, you should make them accurate according to the science. So it'll be very dangerous if the world gets two degrees Fahrenheit warmer in, say, the next 50 years. It'll be dangerous well, for almost everybody. Now, do you disagree with that? Yes, of course I do. 
I mean, there is no study that suggests that two degrees Fahrenheit will make the world appreciably more dangerous.